Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. grand opening day is there a different energy with with staff and stuff like that like is there oh yes sir. there's an excitement right that's right we're ready to go we're, right we are ready i'm telling you right as awesome. soon as they come rolling in we're ready awesome we ready. awesome yes sir uh because we hand decorate we hand mix uh we hand scoop the ice cream so a lot of it's by hand so it does take a little bit longer um, so like our cookie doughs we make in-house, a lot of the toppings you'll see for the dolly butterflies we make in-house, uh, again all cookie doughs in-house, um, the unicorns, mermaid tails, things like that we're making in-house, uh, it takes a lot of prep, a lot nice. of prep to make all of this happen. Good things come to those who wait, right? That's right, yes sir, <laughs> yes. Y'all do just the cookie dough as well, right? Yes, we, so we make the cookie dough in-house um, and some of our shakes, like the Cookie Monster uh, will come with a cookie dough sandwich on there. The Cookie Dough Delicious comes with cookie dough on there. Of course, we do the jars, but we can do scoops and cones and cups as well. Okay, all right, so you sell these as well, right? That's right, yes, sir. Okay, what's the ticket on these? $15.53. $15.53, okay. <laughs> Design them for two people. Typically, people get their own, but we design them for two people. You design them for two. That's yeah. right. Yes, sir. I mean, there's a lot going on there. That's so. right. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and you get the jar, right? right? Yes, sir. We okay. have a jar washing station right over there. So the cost for what you're putting together in these five, how much are those a piece? Uh, 17. 17 each. So these are 17. That's okay. right. Yes, sir. All right. Butter brownie. She got cookie dough. Cookie dough, and then the s'more, and then strawberry, strawberry cheesecake. cheesecake. Yeah. Here, and you get the dolly. You take the pretzel. You go down the cup. Chocolate covered pretzel. Nice. Might be the thinnest straw. I've ever it's very. We have ever had even with straw. like Mountain Dew or you know. It's very hard. Alright, so the yard milkshake bar. I'm gonna jump in with the rating. I'm going to rate it a I don't know, maybe 27 or 8. I'll go 8. Um I thought my drink was cute. I love that they have the dolly specialty. Um it was adorable and it does scream dolly. Uh I like the location. There's a lot of space in there and it's cute. They do Hershey's ice cream. Um uh you know. It doesn't blow you away, and I'm not giving anything that isn't common knowledge. Like it says, it's Hershey's ice cream on it. That's how I know it. And um, I don't know, 
my, my main complaint is the price and the straw, which sounds so like, how are you going to complain about a straw? Listen, if you're trying to drink your $17 milkshake, <laughs> like you don't want it to melt. And these straws are basically restaurant straws. I think they're even smaller than some restaurant straws. So the fact they have crumbles of stuff in your milkshake, that is good, but it's, you're not able to drink it. Like every time you take a drink, you have to stop and like mess with the straw. They give you a spoon option, but like I want to drink a milkshake. So um, a milkshake straw would really help, but it's cute. And you know, it is really expensive. Adam was really nice. He was super sweet and like so polite. Everything was yes, sir, yep. yes, ma'am. I mean, just very respectful, really wanted to know, you know, about everything, us, everything. Um, so he was very amazing. So thank you so much, Adam, for having us. That'll do it for me. What do you rate it, Keith? I rate it an eight as well. I thought it was good. Crazy Mason is a little bit better just because, um, I feel like it does their straws is one thing, and then like the employees are super nice. And I like the Bluebell ice cream at Crazy Mason. Yeah, it, it, the ice cream <laughs> wasn't as good as Crazy Mason. It was good, but just not as good as Crazy Mason. And so we're not doing a comparison here. I think she mentioned Crazy Mason because when you see these milkshakes, they're popping up everywhere, right? You so think like there's crazy the yard, there's Crazy Mason, there's Cus Flavor Town. Cussing Custard. Flavor Town has one. Cussing Custard has one. So since there's so many, like which one would you want to go to? Crazy I guess Mason. that's why. But we're not really doing a comparison, but Crazy Mason's fan or. I liked it. Uh, I got the strawberry shortcake and I ate it all. There's nothing left in it. Um, I decided it was hard with the straw, so I just grabbed a spoon and I started scooping it up. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. so it was, I rated it eight. It was good. The people was nice and everything. All right. First of all, I just want to say thanks to the yard and to Adam and the staff there for, for having us. It was a good experience. As far as the milkshake is concerned, I do, I, you know, to, to Keegan and JC's point, um, it's impossible to come into a place like the yard where when you've had other similar items and not draw a comparison. I think Crazy Mason is like $14 a piece. These were $17 a piece. I will say that when I looked at the, the ticket and it was uh, triple digits, when I looked at the receipt and it was triple digits, that was quite a shock to me. Um, other than that, my fa I, I kind of also get with you guys on the on the actual ice cream. Now, I think the best part of my uh, of my creation in there was the stuff around the rim. Oh yeah. That that yeah. was that was the highlight of the, yeah. of the of the of the of the dessert, if you will. Yeah. Um, my brownie was good. Keegan actually sw uh, swiped that, and uh, everyone's always swiping your stuff. I know everybody gets my stuff. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, so and like you said, Cuss and Custard's another place that that you know, as far as comparison, they their stuff tasted really good. I think though that the straw, and I know everybody's already said it, the straw was an issue. I I, I like a big milkshake straw, uh, you know. And that, that may be nitpicky, but uh, I don't think it is when you pay that amount for something. You know, uh, you know, you want to be able to have the tools to enjoy it. Now, other than that, it's, it's, the theming in there is really cool. They did a really good job putting it together. Uh, this is definitely, you know, you have your choices. There's Cuss and Custard, there's The Yard now. Flavor Town. There's Flavor Town, there's Crazy Mason. There's a lot of places to enjoy this. Just like anywhere else that, that, we, that we go and feature on the channel, um, I think it's, it's worth you giving a shot because these, these are just entirely our preferences at play here. So. I don't know, a really good experience. Again, I want to thank the yard for having us. Uh, I enjoyed 
the experience there. I enjoyed my I enjoyed my dessert. Anybody else? No. Nope. Mine was I, I just can't. The dolly shake is cute. Yeah. Like it's oh, cute. it was really the cute. Pretzels with the side. That's yeah. The yeah. I think they did a they did a really good job. Yeah. You know, putting them together. Uh, that was something that uh, uh, it went beyond my expectations. I think. Also, uh, make sure that you guys go and check out Dry Creek Home Collections. Yes. They also featured the yard in a video here i think they posted it actually earlier today so make sure you go check them out and get their take on it as well great experience at the yard right here from pigeon forge thank you guys and we'll see you next time Bye. i think i forgot to rate it it's an eight all eight everybody everybody had eight